Stark is a young man with immense strength, hailing from a village known for its warriors. But his life took a tragic turn when his village faced a brutal attack from demons. In the chaos, Stark managed to escape, leaving behind his home and the memories of his past. As fate would have it, Stark's path crossed with Aizen, the legendary dwarven warrior. Under Aizen's guidance, Stark began his training, hoping to harness his innate power and overcome his fears. However, their relationship was not without its challenges. A significant disagreement led to a fallout between the two, causing Stark to leave Aizen behind. Later, Stark found himself in a quiet village. Here, the villagers revered him as a hero, believing he had driven away a menacing dragon. But the truth was far from this. Stark, despite his incredible power, was paralyzed by fear when faced with the dragon. It was sheer luck that the dragon chose to flee upon seeing him. This incident, while boosting his reputation in the village, also highlighted Stark's internal struggle with his own courage. His journey took another turn when Freerin, a mage, discovered him. Recognizing his potential and the truth behind the dragon incident, she offered him a place in her party. Stark, seeing an opportunity to truly test and hone his skills, accepted the offer, marking the beginning of a new chapter in his life. In a tranquil village, Stark was hailed as a hero. The villagers believed he had single-handedly driven away a fearsome dragon, protecting them from its wrath. This reputation painted a picture of Stark as a brave and formidable warrior, someone who could face down a dragon and emerge victorious. However, the reality was quite different. Stark, despite his strength and warrior lineage, was plagued by fear. When confronted by the dragon, he was paralyzed, unable to act. It was sheer luck that the dragon, sensing Stark's latent power, chose to flee rather than engage. Stark's reputation as the village's hero was built on this misunderstanding. He was seen as a brave savior, but inside, he grappled with his own cowardice and self-doubt. This internal struggle became evident when Freerin discovered Stark. She saw through the facade and recognized the true potential within him. With her guidance, Stark faced his fears head-on, eventually confronting and defeating the dragon that had once sent him into a state of panic. On the surface, he was the village's hero, but beneath that lay a young man riddled with insecurities. His eventual joining of Freerin's party marked a turning point, allowing him to confront his past and grow as a warrior. Stark, with his imposing physique and warrior stance, carries more than just the weight of his battle axe. He bears the burden of his past, a childhood overshadowed by constant comparisons to his more talented elder brother. This comparison left a mark deeper than any physical scar, a dent in his confidence. Stark often belittled himself, seeing his actions as cowardly, especially when he fled from his village during its attack. This self-deprecation was further intensified by the guilt of leaving behind his elder brother, the only person who truly cared for him. Yet, amidst these internal struggles, Stark's interactions with others, particularly Fern, brought about moments of clarity and growth. Fern, with her understanding nature, saw past Stark's self-imposed labels. She believed that the past was just that, the past. Their dynamic, a blend of physical might and magical prowess, showcased the balance between strength and vulnerability. Stark's name, which means strong in German, is a reflection of his character's duality. On one hand, he's a formidable warrior, a force to be reckoned with in battle. On the other, he's a man plagued by fear and self-doubt. This duality is further emphasized by his appearance. His red attire and hair symbolize courage, while his scarred face, often seen as menacing, hides the depth of his emotions and the battles he fights within. In combat, Stark's prowess is undeniable. Even without magical abilities, he stands as the party's shield, protecting those behind him. His strength, speed, and resilience make him a formidable opponent. Whether it's taking an axe blow to the chest or facing down fearsome monsters, Stark's determination shines through. He might go down, but he always gets back up, embodying the spirit of a true warrior. As I've said earlier, Stark, despite his internal struggles, is a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Let's delve deeper into his combat prowess. Stark's ability to endure is remarkable. Even when faced with powerful foes, he refuses to stay down. 
His determination, as seen in chapter 20, shows his will to protect those around him, getting up multiple times even after being knocked down. Stark's physical strength is evident in his battles. He's not just strong, he's fast too. He can deliver powerful blows with his battle axe and move swiftly, catching enemies off guard. Even though he's often unaware of it, this massive reserve of power can intimidate even the fiercest of foes. The dragon that fled from the village did so because it sensed Stark's overwhelming power and was terrified. Stark's appearance, especially his scarred face, can be quite intimidating. Fern once mentioned that he has an evil-looking face. Stark uses this to his advantage, intimidating foes and even extracting information when needed. In a party where magic is prevalent, Stark stands out as the badass normal. He doesn't possess magical abilities, but his physical prowess more than compensates for it. He serves as the frontline defense, protecting the mages in the back line. His role is crucial, ensuring that the mages can cast their spells without interruption. Stark's relationship with the mages, especially Fern, is symbiotic. While he protects them with his strength, they support him with their magic. This sword and sorcerer dynamic is essential for the party's success in battles. Shoutouts to all fellow RPG fans out there. Stark isn't just a warrior, he's a character with depth, relationships, and a journey that adds richness to the story. Let's explore his role in the larger narrative. Stark's interactions with other characters, especially Fern, are central to his development. Fern, in particular, sees past his fears and recognizes the true hero within him. Their dynamic is a mix of camaraderie and mutual support. While Stark is the physical protector, Fern often serves as his emotional anchor, reminding him of his worth and strength. Stark's story is one of transformation. He starts as a scared young man, haunted by his past and his perceived failures. But as the story progresses, he evolves into a determined warrior. Stark represents several themes in the story. One of the most prominent is the battle against personal fears. His struggles with his past, his self-doubt, and his fear of monsters highlight the internal battles many face. Yet, Stark's journey also showcases the power of determination. Despite his fears, he pushes forward, driven by a desire to protect and a resolve to overcome his past. Stark's character is a reminder that everyone has fears, but it's how we confront and overcome them that defines us. His journey emphasizes that with support, understanding, and inner strength, one can overcome even the deepest fears. In the overarching narrative, Stark serves as a beacon of hope and a symbol of growth. His story reminds readers that everyone has their battles, but with determination and support, they can be overcome. Stark's journey, relationships, and the themes he embodies a depth and richness to the tale, making him a character readers can relate to and root for. I hope you liked the video, please consider giving a thumbs up or subscribing if you did.